Hey there! In this video you will learn how to get started using MindMapper 17. At the end of this video you will know exactly what to do to create mind maps using MindMapper 17 and to create clear overviews of your information. Let's get started! Okay, here we are in MindMapper and I think the easiest way of showing you how to use MindMapper is just by creating a mind map together with you. So at the end you know exactly how to create a mind map in MindMapper. You can download the map that we create in this video at the end and it, there's a link in the description. First, we need to create a new map. Well, there is a new map already when you start, but when you want to know how to create a new map, there's a couple of ways of doing that. You can go to File and then New. And then you can select one of many, many templates. Uh, what I usually do is I'll just click here on the Create a New Map, or I'll press Ctrl plus N, and what happens then is you get a new map. So here is our new map. Next we have to save this map and I usually do that straight at the beginning. So I'll just save map and I'll call this one my um, mind map demo and I'll save. So now the map is saved and we can start using it. There's an option of doing this automatically after every uh, five minutes, so you have a backup. It might be good of doing that, and that is found when you go to File, Options, and there's something here called Save Every Five Minutes and Make a Backup Copy, in case something goes wrong. So let's have a look at the basics of adding information to your mind map. I assume you already know what mind mapping is, but if you don't, uh, have a look at the uh, link in the description for a video that I created on what's called What is Mind Mapping? Let's start adding information. First thing you want to know is there's uh, nodes that we want to add to this mind map. And we have here our title, so I can add new information by just starting to type. When I um, have this selected you see there's a yellow golden rectangle around this topic that means that whenever i start typing new information is added to this point for instance i can start typing and say first things first i can say uh, basics and i'll just type and i say important i'll just type and press enter type press enter for instance, we added in our first things first, we wanted to learn how to create a new map. And we wanted to save this map. In the basics uh, of mind mapping with MindMapper, so we'll just change the title here. And I'll do that by first now clicking Enter. And you see now I can uh, change the text. Mind Mapper. And then getting started and I'll press enter and we have our information again. I can use the, the mouse to navigate to items in the map, but what I can also do is, and I usually do this when I want to get information in my mind map fast, I'll just use the cursor keys to move from one point to another. So in basics I could be saying some things like um, I want to add information, I want to update and I want to clean up my mind map. And in adding information, well, I want to add notes. And I'll do that by typing plus entering return. Um, I know already how to change the information because I can locate on this note, press enter or return, and I can change information in formation and I'll type enter and the information is added. What I will also want to add is, for instance, images. And I want to add color to the mind map. Now have a look at uh, adding images. There's a couple of ways you can add images. You can simply copy and paste information from 
uh, a picture that you found online or you can use uh, images from the clip arts section and that is over here let me see that's this one when I click this the screen opens with all kinds of images that are already uh, located inside a mind mapper for instance I have getting started I can put this image here but what you see immediately is it's not that pretty it's behind the text and it's like it's out of the shape that we want it to be because now here's a nice light bulb and here is just some distorted thing um, what we can do then is have a look here where you can say okay now it's behind the text I can put it above to the right to the left or I can remove it now what I want to do is I'll usually put it on top of the central topic uh, that we have in the mind map and if I want to do things um, right here I'll usually don't use the um, the option to go uh, over the text but I'll usually put it next to the text so like this and now it's next to it or I'll maybe I'll put it right here when I, when you add a lot of information a lot of images to different notes what happens is this for instance if I do this and I'll do this and I'll do this and I put all these images on top of the text what you see is that the mind map is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and usually it's not that smart to do that because when you add many images on top of each other the mind map is getting better but it's not really adding a value to the mind map itself so that's why I usually if I use images do it at the center and perhaps in the first level of my mind map I don't put that many images um, more to the uh, lower levels of the mind map one thing uh, interesting for uh, perhaps for you to know this text can be a little bit small what I can do is I can double click and the map is getting outlined all over the screen that I use and the next thing we want to do is we want to add some colors because this is nice we have some colors by having these uh, branches in a different color but I want to have more color in my mind map and that can be done by using this I can fill the background of this I can change the text color I can make it a little bit bold I even make it a little bit larger and by doing just these simple things you will see that the mind map is getting uh, giving a little bit more focus on this part and it's not taking us a whole lot of time to find the right image that tells us this color is important so make sure you keep things simple it's not about creating a pretty mind map it's creating a mind map that gives you the information that you have in a good clear overview so colors is done by this let me see yep I change this and I can change the color I can choose my own colors I can create different colors there's a there's a thing that you can use a different theme for your colors usually I just pick one of these um, pre uh, pre selected colors and that's good now that we have this it's probably also good to know how you can change the color of these branches click on one and select line and when I do this now the line color is uh, the one that I chose so for instance when I go for blue now the entire thing is blue when I put my uh, when I select add and I change the color what you see is that this is blue and from here on everything is green when I go here and I change this back to red everything is red so when you select a color all the lower level branches are also um, changed to that specific 
color. Now we come to the update part. And what is important in the update part is that we have to learn how to move information around. Because when we are adding information, things can perhaps not be at the right location in a branch. For instance, um, color could be more important than images. So what I do next is I'll just control X, remove it, and I'll paste it wherever I want it to be. Or what I can do is when I move this back, I can press down the left mouse button, keep it pressed, and then what you see is there's a, a, a rectangle, a yellow goldish rectangle over images, or to the right, or to the bottom. And I, when I release the mouse button here, color is moved to that location. So when I move clip arts to color, now it's there. And as you can see, it's really easy to change the, out, uh, the order of the information in a mind map. And that's important as well when we have a look at the next part, cleaning up your mind map. Because there's a couple of things that you can do. The first thing is, of course, really uh, drastic, but really uh, good in many uh, occasions. That is, you have to remove information. You just put your, uh, you select that part and you press delete. I'll get it back. Uh, you press delete. When I click here and I press delete, that entire branch is removed. So be careful what you remove. The next thing that you probably want to know is if there's a lot of information, so I put my information here, there is a lot of information, formation that should be in a note. What I do next is, let me close this clip art screen for you. What I'll do next is I'll take all this information, I'll select all and copy all. And what I do is when I have this uh, node selected, so there's the rectangle around it, I'll press F3 and the node section is opened. And I'll just copy everything that I had in there. And when I click here somewhere, as you can see, there's a little note icon. When I remove this and I make sure that I also remove this information, so we only need the word note because we're cleaning up. We have note. When I click on this, or I hover over this, I'll see the information in the note. So there's a lot of information that should be in the note. And when I click on it, the node is opened and I can add more information. This is very handy if you have a lot of definitions, for instance, or uh, additional information in a node, but you don't really want to add it to your mind map because that way the mind map is getting too big. Well, what you do is you add nodes. And when you add nodes, the information is still in your mind map, but it's not making a mess of your mind map. And that's important, I think. Keep a clean mind map so the information is really quickly available for you to use. And the last thing that I want to show you is this. Use plus and minus. What do I mean with that? I can roll up and I can roll down. This way the information is still here. I click on the plus and there's more information or I click again on it and it's gone again. So this is uh, the cleaning up part. Remove, use notes, and roll up, roll down. To summarize, now you know how to use MindMapper 17 to create mind maps. You not only know how to create a basic mind map, you can also add images and notes to the map. Now make sure that you keep things simple when you're creating mind maps. Don't overdo in text or whatever make a simple mind map and start using that. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe, like, comment if you like to. Uh, make sure that you let me know which other videos you're interested in so I can also make them. 
Remember, links are uh, in the description to, for instance, the mind mapper software and other uh, information that could be relevant for you. When you like to learn more, make sure that you watch the other videos and make sure that you visit the website to subscribe to the Insider Newsletter. For now, have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.